AI tools have gotten extremely popular and one very common use for them is creating images. I'm sure you've seen a lot of tools out there that can do this, and today I'm gonna to walk you through a few ways that you can create images directly in WordPress using AI. Now, first of all, I'll show you how you can use Divi AI to create images super quickly and easy without ever having to leave WordPress. Divi AI is Elegant Theme's new flagship AI product that was designed specifically to work within the Visual Builder. In just a few clicks, Divi can generate text and images for any module containing those elements. In addition to creating images, Divi AI can also improve existing copy and images in a snap. Think of Divi AI as your personal web building assistant. Now getting started with Divi AI is extremely easy and I'm gonna leave a blog article down below. It'll walk you through step-by-step -step exactly what you need to do to install and use Divi AI. Then once you have Divi AI installed, it's super easy to use. Using Divi AI to generate and edit images is incredibly easy and I'll show you just how quick you can do it yourself. So all you need to do is bring up the module settings for any image module by clicking the little gear icon here. And here we can see our image settings. Now to bring up all of our Divi AI settings, we just click the AI button here. And you can see we have a lot of options. We can either generate with AI, we can edit with AI, we can generate and replace, reimagine, we can change the style with various image styles, and we also have the option to upscale, either by two, three, or four times, or a custom size. So let's say we have a bakery page right here and we wanted to change this image from a pretzel to something else. So we can use Divi AI to do this. So let's go ahead and generate with AI, and this will bring up all of our generate with AI settings to use Divi AI. First, you'll wanna choose an image style, and you have a lot of different options here, everything from photo to vector graphics, comic book, and so much more. But I'll stick with photo for this demonstration, and then you simply type in what you want it to be. So if we wanted to change this from a pretzel to let's say a cupcake, I could say to generate an image of a cupcake and we'll say sitting behind a bakery counter. If you have a reference image that you want it to pull from, you can also upload a reference image here. You can change your aspect ratio as well, but I'll leave this one as a square. And if you know the exact size that you want, you can change it here as well. But let's go ahead and generate this image by clicking generate. It'll take a little bit here and you can see that it generated our images really quickly for our page. Now we have a couple options once we have the images. If there's one that you like, you can go ahead and click that image and you can have it use this image and it'll input it into our page for us. If you wanted to generate a few more, you can just click generate for more. And if there's one that's close but not quite there, we can go ahead and select that one. So let's say we like this and let's say generate more like this one. So you can see that it took that image that we had before and generated a few different options based on the image that we had. When you do that, you also can change the image style as well. So if you wanted to change it from a photo to a 3D render, you could do that really quickly here as well. Or if you wanna just do a new description altogether, you can type that in right here. Then once you're done adjusting the image and you have one that you're happy with, you can go ahead and select the image you want and hit use this image. And it'll automatically put that into your page. Now you can see that it added our image of the cupcake that we generated onto our page right here. And you can do this with anywhere that you have an image on your site. Now, another tool that you can use to create AI images right inside of WordPress is AI Power. Setting up AI Power is a little more in depth, but if you check out that blog article that I mentioned, it goes through the exact setup process that you need to use in order to get AI Power running as quickly as possible. Generating images with AI Power is extremely easy and works similarly to Divi AI. All you need to do is type in the prompt of what you want it to generate, and then you can have it generate. You also have a lot of settings over here where you can change things like the artist. So if you want to mimic a specific artist, you can here, such as Salvador Dali, the style that you want, any photography settings, the specific lighting, if you have lighting that you want it to mimic, and a lot of other settings such as the subject, resolution, color, and a lot more so you can really specify exactly what you want to create. So for instance, if I wanted to create a group of birds flying over a forest, I could go ahead and click generate and it'll generate that image for me. Just like with using Divi AI, the key to creating what you want is to go ahead and change all of the settings, be very specific with your prompts, and then generate until you find the image that you want. Then once you are happy with an image, you can select it and then save that to your media and it'll save it to your WordPress media library. Then you can use it anywhere inside of WordPress that you want. Now, those are just a couple of ways that you can generate images inside of WordPress. If you wanna look outside of WordPress, there are a lot of other powerful tools as well that you can use to generate images with AI. A widely popular choice for this is Midjourney, which lets you make images for your site with a text prompt. While learning the interface is a bit more time intensive, the image quality is very good. With Midjourney, you can create images, web page designs, logos, and more. That said, creating images does take a bit of practice and knowledge of all the associated commands. Another excellent way to create images is via Photoshop AI. The generative fill tool allows you to create images with a text prompt. Using the crop tool, you can also use it to create complete photo compilations or extend to photos dimensions. 
It's an excellent tool for enlarging photos for your web projects. However, we should note that Photoshop AI is currently still in beta, so creating commercial images isn't allowed. We do anticipate that changing soon though, since Adobe AI's features is entirely trained on Adobe stock images. If you want some awesome tips and tricks on how to generate better images as well, check out that blog article in the video description I mentioned. It's got some great information that you can use to create even better images using AI. Thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Before you go though, make sure you check out some of our other content and I'll see you in the next one.